Hey guys, it's time to unbox a new case today, which is for the iPhone 7, and it's called as the Inkcase i7. So it's not your ordinary case because this one actually has a secondary screen, uh, which is coming with an e-ink technology, which allows you to read ebooks. So uh, basically, it replaces the need for a Kindle. So no need to carry, uh, you know, other tech gadgets for reading. So it also allows you to have a photo wallpaper, which is also quite nice. So you can see on the front we have the case picture, so quite nice packaging. On the back we have some uh, specification. So you can see here it supports iPhone 7, uh, 4.3 inch e-ink screen on the back with a resolution of 480 by 800, 217 PPI, a weight of 62 grams and also uh, connects to your phone via Bluetooth. So you can see a little bit of demonstration on the side of how things will look like. So yeah, I mean, I'm not that much into case and everything, but uh, this company actually sent me out this uh, product to review so and uh, and I was really really interested when I saw it's a unique feature here so uh, we have this uh, open thing here written so I'm just gonna quickly open this one up it opens like a book so you can see quite quite nice packaging and this is how it's gonna look like we have a small seal on top so I'm just gonna quickly cut it and I'm just gonna bring this one out and yeah nothing inside other than the case let's take a look here so we have a quick start guide in this uh, little box and a usb charging uh, for this um, in case charger so let's just quickly open this one up so you have this usb cable which you can connect and charge your device. And here we have the quick start guide. So pretty much everything is listed here. Uh, power slash lock button, left, right touch buttons. And you can also further learn about it. And a quite nice explanation here. So I'm just gonna move this stuff on the side and let's take a look at the case we have. So we do have a quick little um, note inside of it. So it says that uh, the Inkcase i7 is designed to fit on the iPhone 7, so of course this is for the iPhone 7, maybe they will make it for the 7 Plus in the future, uh, but yeah, currently only for the iPhone 7, we have a bit of an instruction, how to install it and how to remove it, we do have a plastic on the back, so I'm just going to quickly peel it off, uh, let's just put the iPhone inside here real quick, uh, without wasting any time, and as you can see, we have the iPhone in the case and wow, looks really good in hand. Feels quite compact, made with really solid material so it's not gonna slip out of your hand. So I'm just gonna quickly unlock my device and uh, yeah, it feels really good. So uh, let's take a look at the buttons. I can just comfortably press the volume button without any problem, you can see. The power button also looks to be working pretty fine. Now, in order to pair with your iPhone 7, you need to download a free application called as InCase app. As you can see, I have it here on my iPhone 7. And then you can go into the settings tab to actually pair the case to your iPhone 7. And then also you can change the language. You also have the power off option, so you can set it all the way up to two hours. So, so before going through all the application features, I'm just gonna uh, take a full review look at the case itself. So we have four buttons, three of them are actually touch, and this one is like, more of a physical uh, clicky button so, so these buttons are basically for like navigation so you can go uh, forward by pressing this right button and you can go back using this left button and then we have the select key in the middle so uh, it looks kind of like an android uh, on-screen navigation button so um, yeah it's uh, pretty easy you know, to navigate here and there. So uh, the select button is basically uh, the main key thing to navigate between features, you know, switch to different things. So for example, if I uh, double tap this uh, select button, it allows me to change mode. So currently I'm in photo mode and I can go into the book mode, uh, the widgets mode, and then we have the read later mode. So uh, first of all, we are in the photo mode. So I'm just gonna quickly select it. So by default, we have some couple of photos here and there. Uh, and uh, you also can delete these photos by, uh, you know, holding down this uh, select button and this uh, delete thing will pop up so you can, uh, you know, 
do that and delete the photo. Uh, but how to add more photos? And this is where uh, you're going to need your application. So you can see here that we do have a uh, photos tab. And I'm going to go here. And uh, basically, I have allowed this phone, uh, this application, to access my photo gallery. And I don't have my Twitter account signed in at the moment. But I do have the Twitter button. So you can also go uh, there. And you also have a camera button at the top right area. So you can capture, uh, let's say, a photo. So I'm just going to quickly capture photo right away and I'm gonna use this photo and what will happen is that it's gonna quickly take me to this editor so um, and here you can uh, crop the picture and once you are done with cropping you can add filters you can also uh, you know have uh, stuff like let's say uh, text on this phone you can also change its orientation you can crop further so I'm just gonna quickly save it and I'm going to tap it again and now I'm going to send it to my ink case and as you can see it works pretty fast and once it's done as you can see I have the picture on the back of the case look how cool this is and same thing you can do with your existing pictures let's say I have this picture of me so I'm just going to quickly send it to ink case and it's going to take some time here and as you can see, it's done. And there we go. I am inside the ink case. So it looks super cool. You can take like screenshots or let's say websites and you can also transfer that. And I mean, the possibility is endless. And, and basically, you can pick up any picture in your um, in your in your in your gallery and then you could quickly edit it and then you can um, click on it and then simply send it to your ink case and takes around two or three seconds and you can see it's done and once it's done you have the picture on the back of your case so quite impressive actually so i'm just going to go into uh, the reader mode so uh, once you are in reader mode in order to transfer the books to your case you need to be in the reader mode of the case as well so uh, for that uh, you have to double tap the select button okay and it's going to bring up this menu and the second one is the um, the 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 reader tab so if I go here as you can see I'm inside the reader tab so by default this application does come with some uh, txt files but you can also get them uh, by you know on internet of course you can download and share it into this application it's pretty easy uh, so uh, you can uh, you can do it with Safari the default browser of the iPhone so uh, so if I go here and uh, randomly pick any book let's say this one so it says uh, send to ink case and just like that it's gonna uh, pack unpack the book and just send it to the ink case and it's going to take about five to six seconds and once it's done it's going to add the add the book here to the to the case itself so uh, you have to press the the select button once you know when you tap it once it's basically it's going to give you the the stuff that you have the books that you have so i have by default it's going to have this in case i7 quick start guide so you can read that and learn more about this case and down here we have all of our added books from the application so i already added the forbidden fruit and i just added this common sense by thomas Paine or pine so i'm going to go into this um, to this book I'm just gonna quickly select it and as you can see I am inside this book so I have this book here I can read it I can go left and right and it looks super cool I mean the the quality of the display is quite nice and has this anti-glare technology you know in direct sunlight it's not gonna you know code disappear so it's gonna look great in sunlight as well so yeah I mean it's a it, it really is a replacement for the Kindle I mean uh, quick replacement you can say I mean you don't really have to carry all that stuff it's just there on your device so yeah that's how you add uh, books to your case using the application so and then you have the read later tab so so in order to use this one, you have to make account on uh, this uh, pocket, uh, pocket, getpocket.com. So you have to visit this, this website and make account there so that you can add uh, articles straight from your Safari browser. For example, I have this uh, CNN article open, so I can just quickly press this button and add it to the ink case. And currently it says failed to save because the pocket, uh, getpocket.com login is not done. So you can do that and you can also add that one as well. So next up we have is the widget tab. Now, uh, this is also pretty cool. Uh, you know, kind of like an always on mode that we have on Samsung devices is here on this case. So I'm just gonna quickly go into the widget 
tab on this one as well so here we go and as you can see currently uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's showing me the weather of my city so it's 13 degrees Celsius it also shows me the time which is currently 4 a.m. in the morning we also have date day and year and you can also track the activity you know it also works with the health application that we have on your iOS device. So currently I don't have any reminders. So I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and add that uh, real quick. So we have this three, uh, three dot button here, which shows us the options to update the widget data or go to calendar or reminders. I'm gonna go ahead and go into, let's say calendar app and add a new event. So let's say party and add this. So if I go back, and refresh it you can see I have this one added so party at 16 Feb and when I go ahead and update the widget data you can see it says sending to in case and when we go back so you can see it is showing me the upcoming event so in the same way you can add uh, the reminders and it works absolutely fine so apart from pairing your case to your iPhone you can also change some more settings in the setting tab for example going into the reader settings you can uh, increase the text and uh, it's uh, changing its alignment and spacing you can also go ahead and log in your Twitter you can also set up the getpocket.com account uh, we have some uh, widget settings as well for example setting up the unit and then also we have the notification update you can also clear cache uh, permission settings so if you haven't allowed anything you can uh, do that from here uh, pretty fast and quick access there and then you can also set uh, check out the about and help section and check out their website and most ask question or you can log out as well so um, yeah I have to say it's a pretty pretty unique case and I'm already loving it uh, for me I mean having those pictures there it's actually pretty nice and you can charge your case using this cable and we have this USB end here so if you have a separate uh, adapter lying or wallet adapter lying around your house you can use that because by default, uh, we don't get that with the box. Uh, but I have to say, again, this case is really, really unique. And again, if you're interested, I'm gonna leave the links down below in the description so you can check that out, pricing and everything. And I will definitely be using this on my iPhone 7. If you press the power button once, it also shows you information about uh, the battery. So this is how much battery that is left on the case. And uh, again, if you turn it off, if you want to turn it off, you have to hold it for five seconds. And as you can see, it's gonna turn off at any moment. And as you can see, it is now off. So, so yeah, pretty interesting product here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.